Hey guys, here are your quick fire questions for the second topic in biology. Remember, if you want a hard copy of all these questions, you can get the free vision guide available from my website. What is an organ system? An organ system is a group of organs that work together to perform one function. Name the parts of the digestive system. Starting where the food goes in, we have the mouth. The little blobby bits are the salivary glands. Much higher up than you think it is, is your liver. And also much higher up than you think it is, is your stomach. The tiny little thing kind of next to you inside your liver is the gallbladder. And then we have the test intestines, the small intestine, and the large intestine. At low temperatures, enzymes don't have enough energy, so they slow down and stop working. At high temperatures, the bonds between the proteins are broken, it is denatured. Not killed, you cannot say that, it is denatured, which means it's going to stop working. And again, if enzymes are outside that optimal pH, they're going to be denatured. The lock and key mechanism is how we describe enzymes work. It means a very, very specific substrate can fit into the enzyme. Amylase is produced in the salivary glands. It converts starch into sugars. Lipase is produced in the pancreas and in the small intestine. It converts lipids into fatty acids and glycerol. Protease is produced in three different places. The stomach, the small intestine, and the pancreas. It converts proteins into amino acids. Bile is produced in the liver, it's stored in the gallbladder and it does two things. It neutralizes stomach acid and it emulsifies fats, which means it takes big blobs of fats and breaks them down into smaller blobs so they have a larger surface area. Label the parts of the respiratory system. Lots and lots of bits going on here. The main tube that goes down your throat and carries air down to your lungs is your trachea. It then carries them down, they branch off into branches and these are your bronchi. Next we have the lungs. The bones that protect it are the ribs. The heart is in there as well. And then the diaphragm. The heart pumps blood around the body.
The lungs is where gas exchange takes place. And now we need to label our heart. So, first of all, the first thing you always, always, always do when we are labelling a heart is write right and left on your paper. I know that is the wrong way around, which is why I'm making you write it down, because otherwise you will get it wrong. We have blood going into the heart, that goes in, in the vena cava. It then goes into the right atrium. We have a valve. It goes from the right atrium into the right ventricle. It goes up from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery which goes to the lungs. It comes back from the lungs in the pulmonary vein which in this picture is hidden at the back and goes in to the left atrium and then down to the left ventricle. And it goes from the left ventricle to the rest of the body via the aorta. Trace the path that blood takes through the heart. So again, I've written my right and left on here. Deoxygenated blood comes in through the vena cava, into the right atria, down, into the right ventricle. You'll notice there isn't much muscle on this side. Then it goes from the left ventricle through the pulmonary artery up to the lungs. The pulmonary artery is the only artery that carries deoxygenated blood. When it comes back from the lungs, it is now oxygenated blood. It goes into the left atria, down into the left ventricle, and you'll notice this side is much thicker, much more muscle going on there because it needs to pump it all the way around the body. It will then go up through the atria, aorta, sorry, and around the body. What does the aorta do? This pumps blood around the body. The vena cava is how blood gets from the body to the heart. The pulmonary artery takes deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. The pulmonary vein takes oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. What is natural resting heart rate? This is normally between 60 to 100 beats per minute and you take this after you haven't been doing exercise when you're sitting down and when you're calm. Why might you need an artificial pacemaker if you have heart problems? What do red blood cells do? They carry oxygen around the body. What do white blood cells do? They're part of the immune system. What do platelets do? They are involved in clotting. What does plasma do? That's the straw coloured substance and that's the fluid that everything moves around in. What is cardiovascular disease? This disease that affects the heart and or blood vessels. 
and it's any problem to do with the heart or the blood vessels, but the main one is usually the build-up of fatty deposits. What lifestyle factors can affect health? This is going to be smoking, your diet, exercise, and uh, how much you drink. What is cancer? Cancer is going to be uncontrollable growth of cells in places that you don't want them. What is a benign tumour? That is just a lump of cells uh, which shouldn't be there but isn't moving. A malignant tumour is when that lump of cells starts to become mobile and starts to move to other parts of the body. What is epidermal tissue? This covers a plant. What is the palisade mesophyll? These are the long, tall cells that capture sunlight and where photosynthesis takes place. The spongy mesophyll is just under the palisade mesophyll and again it does photosynthesis. The xylem carries water around a plant and the phloem carries ions and nutrients. What is transpiration? This is the loss of water. And you can measure that by looking at the weight.